Well, economic ties between economies is built on trust. And trust is built when both parties involving in a trade really can execute their goals and achieve their goals in an easy and smart way. And for that, the right instruments are required. And this is exactly where digital banking is coming into play. A good example for digital banking in this world is payments. So today, a UBS client can execute a payment in RMB from Switzerland, from e-banking, directly to the beneficiary in China. So this works seamlessly between the two countries. Another example is basically exchanging messages for letters of credit. In the early days, letters of credit messages were exchanged by posting mails um, between countries. So it took days, if not weeks, to reach like the goal in the other country. Today, with platforms like WeTrade, such messages can be exchanged seamlessly, automated and in a very secure manner. These are very good examples where digital banking can help clients performing trade across countries like Switzerland to China. But it's not finished. There's a lot of more innovation coming down our way. And I think the next wave of innovation that we're going to see is um, typical banking tools such as financing, or such as payments, such as hedging, will become much more seamlessly integrated in our client's own infrastructure and MIS. So the client can execute this transaction in the future from his own infrastructure safely at home. We are very proud that UBS is one of the banks leading this change, this innovation into the future. And I can promise you there's a lot more coming in the next months that you will see in the market. Well, in Switzerland, as well as the rest of the world, most companies have been severely impacted by COVID-19. In Switzerland, more than 80% of the companies have realized a sharp decrease in sales in 2020. What does that mean for the economy, for the Swiss companies as well, for the banks? How could we support them? Well, first of all, companies have to severely cut costs in order to safeguard liquidity. And on the liquidity side was exactly where banks could step in, providing emergency backup liquidity facilities, increasing basically credit lines so that these companies could make it to the crisis. But the most prominent measure in 2020 were the government administered COVID financing lines to support the Swiss small and medium sized enterprises. Here's where UBS provided more than 24,000 loans to small and medium sized enterprises in Switzerland, aggregating to above 3 billion in Swiss franc in loans. Companies could benefit from these government administered loans by basically paying a lower interest rate and also only being um, repaying these loans over time. On the investment side, there is also a big trend into more sustainable investment strategies, really supporting greener developments all over the place. UBS is committed to provide more and more investment products into strategies benefiting these companies who really commit themselves for a greener planet and more sustainable developments over time.